Hey everyone, if you use Safari on your iPhone and want to clean up that cluttered start page, then this video is for you. Today, I will show you how to hide the favorite section, suggestions, reading list and other items from the Safari start page and make your browser look a lot cleaner. In addition to that, removing these items from the start page will give a boost to your privacy. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. First, open the Safari app on your iPhone. Once you're on the start page, that's the screen you see when you open a new tab, you will notice sections like favorites, frequently visited, shared with you, suggestions, reading list and so on. If you want to hide any of them, here's what you need to do. Scroll down all the way to the bottom of the start page. Here you will see a button that says edit. Tap on it. This will bring a customization screen where you can toggle different sections of the start page on or off. Now simply turn off the toggles for any sections you don't want to see. For example, you can turn off the favorites toggle if you don't want to see bookmarks on the start page. The privacy report shows how many trackers Safari blocked in last 7 days. You can turn it off if you don't want to see it. Similarly, reading list hides the reading list section from the start page. You can turn this toggle off to get rid of it. iCloud tabs shows tabs from your other devices. If you want to have more privacy, you can turn this toggle off. The suggestions toggle get rid of Apple's suggestion based on your usage. You can also hide the frequently visited website section and shared with you pages section by turning off their toggles. Once you're done, just tap on the X button to close the edit screen. Now when you open a new tab in Safari, you will see a much cleaner and distraction free start page exactly how you want it. And that's it. It's a quick and easy way to customize Safari on your iPhone and get rid of the clutter. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more iPhone tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in our next video.